Right now, though, if you've ever felt guilty about food, like eating ice cream perhaps, then you need to pay close attention to our next guest. She wants you to be able to relax and enjoy healthy and mindful eating. Welcome to the Harvey Norman Lounge, the guilt-free nutritionist, Catherine Sissons. Good morning. Hello. Now, firstly, feeling guilty about eating, it's pretty common, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely a trend I've seen in the last 10 years of consulting with women in weight loss. Uh, and there seems to be a focus on eating uh, good versus bad. Is, is that theme out there and that's, that's the question I get a lot is is this good thing to eat is this a bad thing yeah. to eat and so they've got to you know kind of work out themselves is it um, mostly women or do you, men as well uh, I used, like used to but probably now that I've sort of gone more down the guilt-free line um, I predominantly work with women and are you talking your book about NOVA so what does NOVA stand for so NOVA stands for natural optimal versatile adjustable but the acronym actually comes from innovation Ooh. Yeah, so it's because it's a new way of eating. So it's important to find satisfaction within your mindset, within your blood sugars, and within your energy. So okay. it's balancing those three things. Well, let's break it down a bit then, shall we? Yeah. Um, let's talk about the end, natural. Yeah, so natural, it comes back to our, um, our natural food beliefs and how that has an impact on our food choices uh, and how we feel after we've actually yeah. eaten those things. So a little tip that I usually give to people is, um, are you going to be okay with that within 10 minutes? Are you going to be okay with that within 10 hours? and are you going to be okay with that decision in 10 days? <laughs> okay, the mindful decision or the fact it's going to make you feel a bit weird or like... Uh, both, both. So um, often it can be digestive that you can mm. have the repercussions and go, oh, shouldn't have eaten yeah, that. that was great fish and chips, but oh, wow. Or 10 days time, it's oh, I'm putting on my pants and I'm relating back to 10 yeah. days ago well, when I had that cake. anymore. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, we've all been there. Yeah. Uh, o is for optimal. Yeah, that's right. So that comes back to the hydration of your body. Uh, our body is two-thirds water and our stressful, busy lifestyles use a lot of um, water water and, and that's everyday processes yeah. so we need to be replacing that through our food but we think we often need to replace it through our drinks so it's about, uh, about getting that balance of the both coming on to um you know join them in together right so we need to be having enough food but also drinking water as well yeah but the water that we're drinking is going to complement it because i don't know if you've ever experienced um increasing your water intake and you increased your bathroom visits oh yes yeah, yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> yes yeah yes so if we're getting ask it, the director about that i'm always wanting to go out for a quick yeah. makes sense doesn't it so if we're getting it through our food we're actually going to be absorbing it more efficiently Okay. Mm. Um, v is for versatile? Yeah, versatile for um, the barriers that pop up in our lifestyle. So the biggest barriers for us busy women and people um, is often stress, and that can be chemical stress from our alcohol or caffeine, that can be our physical stress from what we're trying to fit into a day, yeah. or it can be our psychological stress. Okay, and we all are under diff different stresses. Are That's you talking right. also about being versatile, the fact that we can sometimes not enjoy ourselves if we do go out because we're so worried about doing something bad? Yeah, well, that's where the guilt or... comes into it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we definitely for that guilt, don't we? Uh, so the A for adjustable, uh, you, you talk about risk or bad habits and how we have, we can fix them too. Yeah, so we often think that dining out or choosing something on the menu that we enjoy mm. or um, having a cocktail or having a wine or um, having those things that are social and part of cultural aspects of our eating, we often feel guilty about. Yeah. So um, my mission is really to put the, the eat the culture back into our eating so we can actually relax because of course if we're guilt, uh, feeling guilty and we're not relaxed then it's another stressor. And then stress and that all everything goes weird because obviously stress is very uh, closely tied up with your digestion and all things too. And central nervous system too. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. one of those endless circles isn't it? So we've got to be eating mindfully and not guiltily either. So what gives you very best tips for a guilt-free day then? Yeah, so um, basically what I've created is the Set Menu Club uh, recipe club and what that involves is a set of recipes that balance the um, science of satisfaction so it balances your hydration, your physical requirements. So it's about having those meals um, when you can, like twice a day, so two-thirds of your day balancing your nutrition and then if you are dining out or if you are having foods that are slightly more redundant um, or less nourishing then it's not going to have such a great impact when we actually spread it out over a longer period of time. Mm. There are lots of things that we can buy in the supermarket that we think we're getting that are actually quite healthy and good for us but they're not at all are they? They're kind of disguised. Well yeah anything in a packet's going to be dry essentially so that's sort of the optimal coming back in again is it's what what is the water content in your in your food but the problem is is that we can't just eat produce because we'd be feeling hungry and dissatisfied Yes. So we need to be balancing that with our protein, some carbohydrates and also our flavours in there as well to get the brain satisfaction. To get that brain satisfaction, mm. so what's good protein? 
It depends who you are. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, if you're vegetarian, um, there's obviously your, 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 your nuts, your seeds, your lentils. Um, if you're non-vegetarian, then there's your, your fish, your beef, your poultry, your chicken. And it's important just to get a, a variety of those coming on board. And it will depend on what your lifestyle is throwing at you mm. uh, to what um, food groups and things that you'll need uh, to balance that all out. So you must have some great success stories, people come to see you and being sort of overwhelmed. Yeah, well, what's, what's amazing is that um, often people are blaming themselves and feeling guilty about not eating well, but when they actually balance their meals in that way with the science of satisfaction, they're like, oh, this is actually common sense. And I was like, well, it wasn't that common four weeks ago. Yes. <laughs> so it's just some, having a really simple approach to eating um, that's doable and sustainable is the key because there's such an on-off approach with the diet world now. Mm. Um, we need to find something that's personally uh, effective for yeah. each of us and so, that we are okay with. And then you don't need to diet ever again, do you? You're just Precisely. eating healthily. So you get mm. two thirds of it right. Mm -hmm. Well, not right. You get two thirds healthy and then the other one yeah. is going to And some days might be 100%, you know, you're, you're yeah. balancing every single meal, but there will be the weekends, of course, that will be a little different yeah. and going around holiday and different again. Don't beat yourself up about it. That's great advice. Yeah. I thank you so much for joining us, Catherine. No problem. And now Catherine's book is called Wet Your Appetites, which you did there, and it is available on her website.